Welcome to The Real Real, the beginner's guide to saving and making money through real estate investing and financial education. In this video, we will learn how to cut shoe molding from a 90 degree corner on the inside and outside. Let's jump in. tools that I am going to be using is a nail gun, small nail gun. If you don't have a nail gun, of course you can use a hammer and a nail. Uh, the size nails I'm going to be using, they are I think an inch and a half maybe. Um, this nail gun, you can use up to two inch nails or very small little nails to put in your, your shoe mold. Of course, once you nail everything, you want to caulk it to make it to fill in any gaps that you may have. You need your, of course, your tape measure to measure um, where you need to cut and how long your shoe mold needs to be. Uh, this is a Myra box. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the cheapest ones. I think I can only cut 90 degree corners, which um, to figure out what degree you need to cut your corner. Uh, of course, at 90 degree, you will have to divide that by two, and that's a 45 degree angle, so we'll be cutting 45 degree angles today. And then this is the shoe mold. This is not wood. It's, uh, can't think of the material uh, that it is, but it's not wood. It's about $7 uh, per 12 feet. So you probably spend about Depending on your house, of course, with an average room, uh, you may you may end up spending like I don't know thirty to forty dollars uh, in the shoe mold material, and that is pretty much it. Oh, the size of the shoe mold. This is an inch and a quarter, depending on your gap that you may have in your wall, your baseboard, and your floor can determine which shoe mold that you would want to use. But I, when I laid the floor, I put the floor pretty close to the, sh to the sh uh, baseboard. So uh, the inch and the quarter is, well, is sufficient in this case. So the next thing I would do is, of course, measure the wall. Then I'll show you how to cut. All right, I have it measured out. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the shoe mold for this side. So you would need the angle to be going this way towards this corner. So let's cut. You have to be very careful too. I don't have this secured down to the floor so always cut with caution. Of course, if you have a, a hand, like a circular saw, it would be easier, but I find it's not too much work to just use this, this uh, simple miter box. So let's cut. Just going to go in place here. Then I'll cut the other side to show you how it will piece together. Yeah, it's that simple, guys. So, guys and gals. So, this is the once, once cut of an inside corner, 90 degree at 45. 90 degree, but you need a 45 to connect. So, let's cut the other side. All right. Let's go ahead and cut the other corner. Like I said, it's going to be a 45 degree. So since we're going this way, 
you want the angle to be going towards the corner that way. And also a tip, once you have your mark, you want to be sure that you want to cut it the way that's going to be laying against the baseboard and the floor. So it's easy to confuse it. So just make sure you cut it the way that's going to be laying on the on the floor. Another another tip is to you have your, you see the mark is here, but you have to be careful that once you put the saw in to cut it, you have to be sure that you're going to be cutting there because if you put this mark right here, the angle is going to cut it cut behind it. So it'll end up being short. So you want to put it just a few, about right there, so that when you cut it, the angle actually ends right here. It doesn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't start here. The cut should end here. So let's try, let's, let's give it a shout. Let's see here. You probably want to move it back a little bit more. there and let me cut it real quick here. again be careful <laughs> I know this is doesn't look safe I'm not left-handed uh, matter of fact let me just cut it here So you have your corner, you have it here. See that? Perfect. Well, not perfect, but that's what your caulk, you can use your caulk in here to cover up anything. So let's move to the next cut. Okay guys, I've decided to make it a little easier for us to understand. So I'm just gonna show you like this, I think it'll be easier. Say this is your wall here. And you have, you, you've already measured what you needed. So if this is going to be an inside corner here, see, you see how this is cut? Going, it's pointing towards the inside. So, on your miter, you will be cutting here towards the corner. And you see this piece here? So, you're going to have this piece here pointing towards the, the inside. So, your other piece. going to be cutting towards the inside again, here. So there you have it. Boom. Okay? Say, for example, this is the same wall, but you're going in this direction. So what I like to do is, you know, you have, and this is the end of the wall, you, want, you still want to keep an angle. So I just like to slide it down. Just slide it down. You've done your measurements. So at this, at the outside, so this is going to be an outside corner. So the same piece, you just slide it down. And you just cut, pointing towards the outside. See? So this is a piece that's going to be pointing towards the outside. So this is your outside corner. Here, same thing here. I'm gonna have a piece here. Cut it towards the outside. So then you have these two pieces and they're pointing, they're pointing towards the out. There you have it. 
So hopefully it won't confuse you, but I think it's fairly easy. Once you do it once or twice, you can get the hang of it. Another quick tip that I want to share with you all is if you have a situation where it's not a corner, but you just run out of shoe mode or whatever cramp, whatever mode that you have, uh, just don't butt the two up together, you know, at a 90, you know, like flat surfaces, flat surfaces to each other. You will, um, the gap will be more than you would like. So you will need to angle it like this, butt it together. That will make, make it look better once you put your caulk in now. So you can put some caulk in here. Uh, just a quick tip, don't put them like that, put them like that, it turned out a whole lot better.